Growing up, I thought my mom was the most beautiful girl in the world. She was just 18 when she had me, and even when I was little, I could tell she cast a spell on everyone around her. She always looked picture perfect, and heads would turn at the sound of her <laughs> lovely laugh. And to top that, she was a crazy talented singer and musician. She'd let me play on the piano as she practiced her songs, and when I was three, mom released her first album, and it broke records. She shot to stardom overnight, and her lives were transformed. And because of mom, I was famous too. We'd be photographed every time we stepped out, and people thought we were the cutest pair. Mom and I were super close, and I had some of her talent. So it was no surprise that I wanted to be a famous singer one day, just like her. But then suddenly, everything changed. I was in seventh grade when I started noticing that my hair was falling out, fast. This one time when I was brushing my hair, a huge clump fell out, and I screamed. My parents rushed me to the doctor, and we found out I had alopecia. I was gonna be bald, and there was no way to stop it. I... I'm gonna be ugly. I'll never be pretty or famous now. Honey, you'll always be beautiful, and people who care for you and admire your talent will love you anyway, just like your father and I do. But it was hard for me to stay positive the more hair I lost. The only thing that helped me was my songwriting. I'd vent out my feelings that I couldn't express to anyone, not even mom. In eighth grade, we moved to another town where mom was recording her album, and before joining my new school, I decided to start wearing wigs. Mom encouraged me to get the brightest colors. I love this candy pink one. And this electric blue, such a pop star look. Mom, don't you think people at school will make fun of me? Not at all, Brit. Trust me, you'll be a trendsetter. Well, maybe mom was right because people in my school warmed up to me instantly, especially the most popular girl in class, Mandy. She invited me to sit with her group at lunch, and I was thrilled, mostly because one of her friends was this really cute boy, Chris. Girl, you so have a crush on Chris. What? I have no idea which... Oh, come on! It's so obvious. And I get it. He's super cute now. You should have seen him before. <laughs> 